IAQ Clarified, brought to you by the Indoor Air Quality Association, provides helpful consumer-focused tips on indoor air quality topics. Here is another tip from IAQA training provider, Ian Cull. Hi, I'm Ian Cull, bringing you an IAQA tech tip on air quality checkups. Every once in a while, you should go to the doctor for a checkup. In fact, I recommend that buildings, every once in a while, get an air quality checkup. And they should include some of the following six items. Number one, check on a building's ventilation. It's important to see if the building is bringing in the proper quality and quantity of outdoor air. Check those outdoor air intakes and look for any nearby pollution sources. Number two, check on the cleaners, pesticides, and personal care products that may be degrading air quality. Also, check to see if there are any new furnishings that are off-gassing volatile organic compounds. Number three, check for signs of dampness, which include water stains, visible mold growth, and microbial odors. Number four, check on combustion appliances and equipment to make sure that they're properly venting their combustion gases. Number five, check parameters such as temperature and relative humidity to ensure that the space is comfortable for occupants. Sixth, and finally, if there are any specific concerns, such as radon or allergens, well, check for those too. Just like a checkup at the doctor's office, an indoor air quality checkup may uncover some serious problems that need to be addressed. You may not otherwise know about those problems unless you commit to regularly checking a building's air quality. To have an air quality professional give your building an air quality checkup, visit the IAQA website and click the Find an IAQA Pro button on the homepage.